Do you want to run large language models of sizes 70 billion on your local system when you have a GPU card of VRAM just under 16 GB, like 8 GB or even 4 GB? In this interesting project, which is called as Air LLM, you can do that by doing layered inference. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can locally install this and then play around with 70 billion models. Before I do that, let me give you a quick overview as how exactly this project is trying to achieve that massive task. So you can run models like Llama 370 billion on a single 4 GB GPU or 8 GB GPU with Air LLM and layered inference. Layer wise inference is primarily the divide and conquer approach. This is without using quantization, distillation, pruning, or any other model compression technique, which is the hallmark of it. I'm quite surprised by the way. The reason LLMs are large and occupy a lot of memory is mainly due to their structure containing many layers. And we have input layer, we at the start, we have output layer at the end. And in between, we have a lot of hidden layers where actual processing happens, where neurons are passing information and a lot of things happen there. So an LLM starts with an embedding projection layer followed by numerous transformer layers, all identical. A 70 billion model has as many as 80 layers, but during inference, each layer is independent, relying only on the output of the previous layer. That is why after running a layer, its memory can be released, keeping only the layers output. Based on this concept, Air LLM has implemented this layered inference, very nifty and very, very clever. During inference in a transformer based LLM, layers are executed sequentially. The output of the previous layer is output to the next. Only one layer executes at a time. So that is why it is completely unnecessary to keep all layers in GPU memory. And so we can load whichever layer is needed from the disk when executing that layer, do all the calculations and then completely free the memory after. This way, the GPU memory required per layer is only about the parameter size of one transformer layer, which is 1 by 80 of the full model around just 1.6 GB. Then using flash attention to deeply optimize CUDA memory, access to achieve multifold speedups, and then you can also chart models file, uh, files by layer by using this, and you can use the meta device feature provided by Hugging Face Accelerate when you load a model via meta device, the model data is not actually read in, only the code is loaded. And memory usage is nil. It also provides options for doing quantization with a compression uh, param, which supports 4 bit, 8 bit, for 8 bit block wise, and a lot of other things. So, really, really good stuff. So, let's get it started. Let me take you to my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. And I have one GPU card of 8 GB VRAM in this one. So let's see what happens here. Let me clear the screen. First step, let's install this Air LLM. So this is the repo of this Air LLM. I will drop the link to it in video's description. And the installation of Air LLM is pretty simple. It just installs with our usual pip command like pip install Air LLM. So let me install it. Let's wait for it to finish. You see that how quick and easy that one is. I already have transformers installed, so I'm not going to go with it again. Let me clear the screen and let's launch our Python interpreter where we will be installing it. You can put all of these commands which I'm going to use in one Python file. So let's do Python 3 and ah, oh, sorry, I just pasted everything here. Let me clear exit from here. I just wanted to show you initial one. Sorry about that. Let's clear the screen and Python 3. I'm doing it in real time, so you have to bear with me. Sorry. There you go. So first I am just importing auto model from Air LLM. Let's wait for it to load. You see that it installed bits and bytes, cache utils. And then let's specify our max length to just 128 for the purpose of it. And Let's specify maybe I'll grab Lama 370 billion 
because I always wanted to run it locally. So let me put it here. Let me grab it. Llama 3 8 billion repo ID from Hugging Face. And I just realized because Llama 3 is a gated model. So we would need a permission to access it. I already have the permission, but I would have to log in. So first just import HF folder and then we need to go to Hugging Face website and log in there. Once we have logged in, we would need to create a new token or you if you have already have a token use that let me create a new token for this so air llm you can just name it anything i'll just give go with the read one generator token and this is my air llm token let's grab it from here let me go back to my terminal and then paste that token give me a second i will just grab the command for it and then take you to my terminal this is my terminal i already have imported the library and i have saved the token let's go back to hugging face grab the repo id of llama 3 simply search here llama 3 8 billion 70 let's grab this one so just copy the whole repo id let's go to um okay, sorry let's go to our terminal first I'll take you to my terminal and from here let's grab the whole command first like this one and now here let's just paste our whole repo id which we had grabbed and close the quotes let me double quotes i guess there you go so you see it is loading all the 70 17 gigs so make sure you have that much space i'm not sure if i have that much space in my system so meanwhile it happens i'll try to make more space on my system so bear with me and it is going to take a lot of time as you can already see from this it is still progressing i managed to make some space so it should be good so make sure that you have this much space available i think all in all it needs around 150 gig on the hard disk so make sure you have just in case 200 gig available the, in the on the whole uh, volume on your local system so let's wait for it to finish you can see that the eta is around eight to nine minutes model is almost downloaded and as you can see in the time almost took under 18 minutes or maybe just around 20 minutes let's see i think almost there Yep, it is consolidating it. Also, it has downloaded the to tokenizer already, which is good. So let's wait for it to finish. Don't take too long now. After the model download finished, now it is loading the shards, as you can see. And there are 83 shards, it seems, and it is fetching them and then loading them. So let's see how long does that take. It has given me this error that no space on left because I'm a bit surprised that instead of I already have downloaded the model. I'm not sure why it is downloading it again. So let me rerun it after making some space and see how it goes. So I cleaned up the space, downloaded the model again, and it is loaded at last. Took long time, by the way make sure you have plenty of space okay let me clear the screen and let's uh, do the inference here so i'm just asking it in the input text what is happiness that is done and now let's you give this to tokenizer to convert this text into tokens it is also done and now let's generate the output from the model and this is a command of doing that where i'm just giving it the input tokens and using max new token just 20 for the sake of it and then returning it so let me run it it is running and you can see that it is just running uh, the layer and not everything which is good so let's wait for it to finish and let it finish all the 35 layers so I think what is happening here is it is loading it layer by layer and then just keeping one layer in the memory 
and it is passing our input through one layer to another then to another layer so the gpu has only one layer at the moment which is very very um, lightweight it has run through all the layer and now let's get the output from the model output is done and now let's print it out and there you go it says what is happiness it is a filling because we have just said it uh, max token 20 so it's not producing all of it but anyway you can see that we are running this big huge model locally on our just 8 gb vram gpu you can even run it on a 4 gb gpu and you can load any 70 billion model easily there even uh, 70 billion or any less model you can easily run it locally it will do the layered wise inference of course there will be some latency it won't be as good experience as immediate but you have to balance it out there has to be a trade-off and i just want to check if i give another prompt would it just make all these passes again because if it is making all these passes again, then I think that is not a really good experience, but let's check. Let me run the tokenizer on it. Let's let's wait for it to finish. Tokenizer was quick and this was the step it was taking a bit of a time, layer by layer. So let me run it. As you can see, it is running through the layers again. I believe it is going to run through all the layers one by one so for every inference we have to wait for all of this and it takes around like 10 minutes to get an answer so this is a trade-off so if you are keen to run these big models on locally then feel free to do so with air llm it works as you can see here but this is a trade-off where you would have to wait for every answer as it goes layer by layer so I will let it run. I'm not going to uh, wait for this one because this takes long time. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you think um, there is any be other better tool, please share it in the comments. I will drop the link to this repo in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you.